conversation with like how she just ended it. How do you keep up with the titty buddy? The titty buddy. Like you're young. Like how do the parents <laughs> keep up with that? She said she never met them. <laughs> What's good, good y'all? It's the Demachettes React, and, and we're, we're back, back with, with another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we are back with another American reaction. We're super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit the that red subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell, because we're, we're on the road, road to 50K. K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Tell me what is normal in your country, but is not in other countries. I go first. In some restaurants in Italy, women don't get the menu with the prices because the man has to pay. Oh, I love what it. What do you think? Love Tell it. me what is normal in your country, but right. is not in other countries. So you know how in other cultures, when you see a really cute baby, you're like, oh my God, he's so cute. He's precious. Your baby's so adorable. Well, uh, Kazakhs are very superstitious and they believe that if you're going to call their baby cute or beautiful, you're going to be attracting too much attention to it and the evil eye. Ooh. So when we see a little baby, we're always like, your baby is so ugly. Your baby is so no way. bad. Who is a bad baby? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what you uh, <laughs> what? What? No, what? <laughs> What? If I go to Kaz, what should say Kaz, Kaz, Kaz some would have seen. wherever she at. Yeah. If, if I go there, y'all like, yo, baby, so ugly, baby, baby. Oh, <laughs> you, know, you better not. Yeah, we <laughs> all we call my baby ugly. Baby, Just, who ugly? Don't say nothing at all. <laughs> <laughs> baby, who ugly? <laughs> Shoot, you <laughs> ugly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot, so my, my baby, baby. ugly. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> Lebanon. <sighs> okay. Three. One. Tell me what is normal in your country, but is not. I guess it gets darker yeah. fast. Okay, listen to this. So I'm from Mauritania, and something that's normal in my country is breastfeeding other people's children. You know the parents who doesn't like when people give their kids candy. Mauritania takes it to another level. It will probably give your child a breast. It's not a big deal. Like the baby is hungry, the baby is crying. Anyone who can breastfeed will breastfeed them. That's normal. Also, they sometimes do it to make these two kids, the two babies, siblings. Because in Islam, like when you breastfeed a child, now they're a brother or a sister of your child. I don't know what it's called, like breastfeeding siblings or titties buddies. I'm sorry. Bottom line is, I have. Four brothers, breastfeeding brothers that I know of, and I know I have more, but I've never met them. Tell me what is not. So how do you? Okay, a couple comments here, but to end the conversation with like how she just ended it, how do you keep up with the titty buddy? The titty buddy. Like you're young. Like how do the parents <laughs> keep said, up with that? She says she never met them, <laughs> but um, okay, so. At the beginning, when she said breastfeeding other babies, I'm like, okay, well, that's normal. That's slightly, normal. slightly. I've not at my breast, but I've fed seven, six other babies. Mm -hmm. You know, I pump, so I fed six other babies since I've had my baby so seven. We, I mean, our, nine our months babies ago. Babies got like seven Teton buddies, <laughs> our brothers and sisters. No. Oh, you got like kids, no. girl. Oh. I don't no. Um. Yeah, so that is normal, but if, if okay, let's say if my, our baby was at a daycare and the baby's crying, oh, somebody would just, ba no. So basically, they walk in the door and they see some, even at restaurants, I'm guessing like a lot of you moms out there look like y'all got a lot of things going on. So see a baby crying, they be like, oh, let me help you with that. Yeah. A uh, bloop. Oh, no. Not and no then random right person. in your face. And it's random people. Not no random person. It's random people. I don't know about that. Like, and then you're so, how are you today? Oh no! Like if I did, <sighs> imagine you doing that. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Nothing's wrong with another woman breastfeeding your baby, especially if like you have issues or low milk supply or you know. Nah, a lot is wrong. wrong a lot is wrong with that. 
we do that here. We do that here, but if you know if everything's okay. Yeah, if everything's okay, I say if there's issues. The, don't ain't, ain't there like a thing where you have to do like a um you have to do something to see if everything is okay with your with your with your breast milk, right? That's not what you thing. gotta do. I don't know. You don't gotta do something. Check and see if you got any diseases. Or, yeah, but or ain't that something stuff? that you gotta do though? Like, no. Like when you like if you selling your breast milk, like giving your breast milk away, oh, you, you don't gotta you survey or healthy. something. You gotta do like you have to be healthy. Because I know That's moms ask a lot of questions. Like exactly like do y'all like ask questions? Do y'all be like, is there anything wrong? Like is there something I need to know about? No, she said they just whip it out. So they just blew in it. <laughs> See, I just think, I, I personally, we women out here do that, but to a certain extent, it's like, for a reason. It's for some, yeah, and, and I don't think we giving nipples away. We're not just <laughs> handing nipples out to babies. Like the mother is gonna feed that child, and if the mother can't feed that child properly, then she looks for help. She seeks for help, but then she do her research on who she wants, right, to supply that baby's needs. Right, right. She don't just like me. She don't just accept the the, the whole. I had to, you know, disclose my vaccination status right. before See, I like was giving out milk. You know, some mm -hmm. moms wanted um, only vaccinated milk. Some didn't want vaccinated milk. Some people milk. want a diet type of milk. Yeah, some people wanted I like, remember no asking dairy about that. and yeah. things like that. So, I'm not just whipping out... <laughs> And for the moms out here, they do have groups that you can uh, join. If you probably noticed, some of you yeah, don't. But yeah. they do have groups that you can join where you can, you know, help other babies who need milk. You know right. what I'm saying? For new mothers who just had babies and things right. like and that. And I was an oversupply. So I was like, yeah. if I saw somebody say they need Babe some was milk. Babe a champion. I got some milk for you, girl. And they Babe thinking they a, coming over to get two He's a champion. I don't know yeah. if y'all know the full story, but yeah. it's still it's still happening. Mommy yes, is still yes, supplying. Yes. And I've helped a lot of people with their breastfeeding journey. But anyway, let's get back to this. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. Liquid gold. Well, in your country, but is not in other countries. In Finland, you go to sauna with your colleagues, men and women, naked. Oh. Tell me what is normal in your country, but is not no. in other countries. <laughs> I go to. Tell me what is, what is what is your country, but is not in other countries. In my country, which is Serbia, is absolutely normal to stay in restaurant up till 10 p.m. But after 10 p.m., only the vaccinated people can stay in the restaurant because obviously the COVID hits after 9 p.m. What? 10, sorry. Oh, okay. 10 PM, so. All right. How about you? Tell me what is normal huh. in your country, okay. but is not in other countries. In my country, you can face up to five years in prison for providing a false COVID passport. However, if you rape someone, you won't get prosecuted. Tell me what is normal in your country, no. but is not in other countries. Why she has so I can know not to go? Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, babe. That was a. Uh, I have to rewatch that one for you after this video. But that's what? different, like, so, I mean, hey, um, I can't imagine. It's not safe there. Nah. Wedding invitations. So a wedding consists of the reception, the dinner, and the after party. Um, and in Belgium, we also divide our guests. So there's three groups. There's either your very close friends and family who generally spend all day with you. So reception, dinner and after party. And then there are your party friends from Ooh. like back in the day that get invited to the after party, which is usually linked with dessert. So you do feed them something. And then the second group is um, the ones that join you for dinner and the after party. Those are the ones that are like close enough to you but far enough away to say you don't have to spend all day with me <laughs> and then the third group are the ones that you only ask for the reception in my case that was like um some distant distant friends of ours uh colleagues that i actually didn't like very much oh, God. but i felt obliged to ask them and apparently this is not a custom everywhere I've seen so many TikTok of expats living here explaining this tradition on TikTok. And holy shit, we get assassinated in the comments. But it's been like that forever. 
I've literally been to two weddings where I was invited from dessert and after party, so that was like from 10. And then I've had my parents' wedding, to which I was invited all day. But then <laughs> I've also had a few weddings to which I was invited just for the reception, and no one really ever questions it. Tell me what is normal in your country. But okay. I, I guess. I mean... It's, it it kind of makes sense. I mean, what but... Is, what is our cultural? Everyone has it different. Well, I thought she was going to say some people just want to party and some people want to do the whole formal wedding. But it's the identifying the people, though. Like, we got the yeah. group that's very close to us. got the group that is closest, but they know to leave when it's the time. Then they mm -hmm. got the family. You got your party friends. It's like, it's... So, so when you come to invitations, how many invitations are y'all printing? Just come here. Just come here. Or is it like a check? Right, right, right. Or is it, do the people know? Or do they, they come at a certain it? time? They're inviting, to the, they're inviting to the reception, but not the wedding. So after <laughs> everybody get up and leave, then the party show up, and then everybody starts to real storming. Right, right. I guess. I mean, that's kind of okay. Nothing wrong with it. None at all. It is not in all other countries. I go through. All right, so like in America... If you are an American and you commit a crime, let's say it's like the worst crime ever imaginable in human history, and you're about to go to trial and you can't afford a lawyer, then the United States will provide a lawyer for you. But like if you need medicine or if you need to go to the hospital, you need some kind of health care that's going to save your life. You're just going to have to figure it out, take out a second mortgage on your house, or in some cases, you're not going to get the treatment you need. Like, for example, law-abiding citizens are literally dying because they are rationing their insulin. They cannot afford their insulin, and they go without their insulin, and then they die. And there are still a lot of people who don't think we should pass laws to limit the price of insulin in America. Like, there are children in America whose parents can't afford their cancer treatment. I don't understand why we think this is okay in America. Tell me what is normal in your country. Mm, his, his, um... His little TikTok was missing some a lot of points. There's two different systems. There's the legislative system and it's medic medical. Mm -hmm. Two different things, okay? One, they both make money for yeah, the country. Yeah, they gonna make money. Both. But when you're dealing with like criminals or whatever, they are property of the state. They it's their right to have a fair trial. Talk Just on. because they're getting an attorney doesn't mean they're going to get the best of the best. Facts. They're going up against the United States or, you know, the state or whoever they're going up against. So it doesn't mean they're going to get the best of the best. Just like they have to feed them in prison, but it doesn't mean they're getting the best of the best. Right, they're right. sometimes getting food that is not for human consumption. Okay, so... It, it, I understood what he was saying, but still, that's two big topics. Two big topics. Yeah, you got to be careful what you put your hands on because you really got to go into detail yeah. on certain things. So, yeah. I get it. Yeah, but I do agree with him yeah. about the medical. It's just two different separate entities. But it's not in other countries. I go first. Now, I'm going to go first. <laughs> <laughs> So, in Latvia, we have this kind of day, which called, like, a graveyard day. Yeah, we're celebrating graveyard day. I thought I heard it right, graveyard so day. So, okay. how we are doing that, um, all of our family members are getting together, we're taking the candles with us, and we are going to the graveyard. Uh, we're putting the candles on our uh, family members, which died uh, oh, okay. years ago. And uh, after, then we are going to our houses and taking some meal because of this day. And we're like showing this kind of way how we still love our uh, members, uh, which ones are not in our planet. Tell me you've been single a long time without telling me. Okay, so I, um, that's nice. That's a nice way to get good. together and, you know, remember your loved ones who passed away. I like that. Yeah, and it keeps family together too because a lot of times family always comes to a point where they just, you know, they're distant. You know what I'm saying? So having everyone get together and yes. a meal afterwards, as, mm -hmm. I think that's wonderful. You know what I'm saying? I like it as well. It sounds like a family reunion to me. Yeah, at some point. <laughs> yeah. Of it. yeah, it does. Yeah. 
So we hope you all enjoyed this video. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super thanks if you like to support the channel that way. Check it out. And our join feature for our VIP members is now available. We'll see you soon. Peace.